So welcome to my tutorial on designing with grids. This is something that is quite useful and extremely important. Honestly, I don't know if there is something more important than what you're about to learn in InDesign. So pay good attention. First, we're going to make a new document. I'm going to change my preset just to the default so it looks normal. It's not this freaky thing. Uh, I use inches for my uh, units of measurement. If you want to change yours to inches, you come into your preferences up here. And then units and increments is what is available here. You need to do this before you start a new project, however, because it doesn't like it if you try before. So we'll do that. We'll open up our document. Here it is. Nice and white with our margins. They're good but we need some sort of grid. There's a couple different ways you can do this. First is to pull and drag from your ruler. You can do that on both sides. So I just went a half an inch up here. You can see there was a half an inch there. I want to do the same thing down here. Now I have a nice box. Oh man, that's good. Let's do it again here. Oh yeah, we're gonna make this We'll put this one here. So it's just going to be like half inch boxes. Yep. Uh-huh. Uh-huh. Yep. So uh, we're that far. But that's stupid. Don't do that. Let's go ahead and select all of them. Delete. Faster way. Come up to layout. Create guides. Bring your dialog box, which should pop up here for you guys. Bring it down here so you can see what's going on. Make sure preview is checked so that you can see what it's doing to your document. And go ahead and just add a few. Let's go ahead and do five. You'll notice when I press one, nothing happens. That's because this is all one big column. It's not counting the lines, it's counting the columns in the rows. So let's do another, let's do that. That's, that's fine, actually. That's quite nice. Now, the gutter for both of these is talking about the space in between these two guidelines. We can increase those by scrubbing through there, make them pretty. Cool. Keep it uniform. Next thing that we're going to do is place an image. So we'll go into File, Place. Let's use this one. That's attractive. Now, I want it to not, if I want it to be the regular resolution image with the file size as is, you can just click and leave it at, leave it at that. But I don't want to do that. I want it to be exactly where I want it to be as soon as I put it in to my document. So I'm going to click and drag there. There it is. Now, say I don't really like where it's placing. If you watch this, you'll notice it snaps to these guidelines, which is pretty cool, pretty handy. So let's go ahead and put it right there, right about in the center. So it looks good. But, uh oh, I just went to move my image, but instead I moved that guideline. Sure, you can undo that move with Command Z, or you can come up here to View Grids and Guides and lock your guides. Or there's an even faster way highlight some of your guides, right click, and lock your guides. Now, you can't move them. It's amazing. Now say I want to take it, a take, take it a step further, and I am completely happy with this picture in the middle of my page with nothing else on it. I can right click again, come to grids and guides, and hide my guides. And now you see, there's this incredibly well designed image here that most people just won't even be able to handle. We'll show them again so that we can keep working on it. That's pretty much it. It's pretty straightforward. If you missed any of that there are probably better tutorials or you may not want to be working with InDesign because that was pretty simple but kudos for trying keep it up thank you for watching subscribe